Here now for more insight on this, Leroy Chow, former NASA astronaut and International Space Station commander. Uh, Leroy, you're the person we wanted to talk to about this. Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, provide us with your insight here into what is causing delay after delay. How serious is this? Right, so Starliner has had its issues over the years during development, during testing, uh, even before launch. Launch got postponed several times, and finally, Butch and Sonny uh, made it into space and made it to the station. But on the way there, uh, suffered some more failures. Pre-launch, we had a small helium leak, developed four more helium leaks, had five thrusters malfunction and be disabled. They got on board the station. NASA and Boeing looked at it and they said, okay, not too big a deal. The five helium leaks are pretty small. We can tolerate leaks a hundred times that size. Uh, the thrusters, okay, four of them have been re-enabled. Uh, we're gonna turn one off so they can come back anytime. So not a big deal. But then as you pointed out, they've delayed the return a couple of times, but each time they have said, uh, you know, Butch and Sonny can come back anytime. There's not a real issue with the vehicle. So what was perplexing about yesterday's announcement is that, well, we're going to delay it again and we're going to delay it indefinitely and we are evaluating data. So that raises more questions uh, than it answers. It's like, well, did you miss some data before? Are there new data to look at? Uh, and why is it indefinite? And so they, you know, it's, it's kind of makes you furrow your brow a little bit and say, are there more issues or issues they missed before that we don't know about? Mm -hmm. um, NASA really is kind of doing itself a disservice by not kind of disclosing, disclosing more about what's going on. In my gut, I think that everything's fine with the spacecraft. Uh, this is probably a poorly worded, poorly thought through press release, which frankly wouldn't be the first time. And, uh, you know, it just was too vague and didn't answer any questions. So I think Butch and Sonny are fine. They're on the station. Uh, they're waiting to come home uh, either on this vehicle, which is the most likely scenario, or, you know, there are other scenarios that can play out. Uh, we can certainly send up a, uh, a Dragon spacecraft to get them if necessary, but they can stay almost indefinitely on board the station without any kind of danger. Wow. This launch initially was, you know, hailed as a success after, uh, you know, its, its third attempt, a much-needed win for NASA and the U.S. space program after several shortfalls, not being able to bring these astronauts home uh, right now. That word indefinitely, how big of a setback is this? Well, it's just perplexing. Why would they use that language? Why wouldn't they kind of set another date or at least a time frame? Uh, you know, you, it leaves everyone to, to speculate in that vacuum. You know, what new data are you looking at? What old data did you miss? So, like I said, my, my gut feeling is that everything's okay with the spacecraft. Butch and Sonny can come back on that spacecraft. Uh, you know, when when it's deemed to be appropriate. But, you know, we really, NASA could really help itself by giving more information out in this case. Um, but, you know, Butch and Sonny, consummate professionals, I have every confidence in them. I know them both very well, and I'm sure they'll have a, a good trip up there and a good trip home when it comes. Yeah, may, may that be the case. Uh, Leroy Chow, thank you so much for your insight and time. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.